everybody and welcome back to Colorful Threads and the next video installation of the summit. So uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of the steps that it takes to get your computer set up, your files set up for sharing, and the machine set up so that we can wirelessly transfer files back and forth. So stay tuned. Okay guys, here we go. So this is the computer part to get started. For first thing that I did was I went to the, uh, we can start a whole new tab, but I'll show you. We went to Melco service, Melco dash service. So that we can find, I'm going to have the link for you, but I just want to show you where to find it. If you need it, we're going to go to FAQ and then we're just going to say file share. And that's going to pop up with this. It says Melco Summit and Bernina E16 Pro. They both connect the same. So this screen is going to get you into the instructions. And in here's the three different steps that you're going to have to do. First is configure your Windows. Second is make sure you share that folder. And then we have to set up the network connection on the actual machine. So... The first one is configure windows and that is configure windows is right here. So this file is going to look like this. And basically we're just going to go through all of these steps together. So we'll go down to our windows button and we're going to go to settings. Let me make this bigger. All right, we're going to go to network and internet, and then we're going to go to what connection we're using. We are using a Wi-Fi connection, and it is called Turtle Cove, and we're into the screen we need to be in here. So now we actually get to start with uh, setting up things. So we're here. This needs to be a private network. You can see I've already selected it here. So it's going to be private network here. And then we're going to go to network and internet. Back again and to the advanced network settings here. Advanced network settings. And then we're going to edit our sharing. Advanced sharing settings. And in here, we're on step seven, section three. We want to make sure that our network discovery is on. You can see I already have mine turned on here. Your uh, setup network connect device automatically is turned on. We go to our file and printer sharing and turn that on as well. And then that is going to send us down to all networks. So we go into our all networks and in here, we need to make sure our public folder sharing is on. Password protection is off. Make sure that is off. All right, that is off here. Now we're gonna go down to the control panel. Let me close this. We'll go down to the control, we'll go to the search and go to control panel. Control panel, there it is. Go to our control panel. And, uh, all right, control panel here. We want to view small icons. Mine is set for small icons already. Then we're going to click on Program and Features, Program and Features. That list has populated, so we're going to turn Windows features on or off. That's going to bring us into this little box here. Once we get into this little box here, we're going to move to step 12, and we're going to look for this SMB file sharing support right here. And there's a little plus sign, so I'm gonna drop that down because I need to make sure all of these are on. 
So if they're not on, turn all of these on. Then you would click OK. All right. It says after a short install, you'll want to restart your computer. OK. So the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure your power options are set to uh, be correct as well. So control panel home and power options because if your computer goes to sleep that you're sharing your files from you're not going to be able to get to them so you're going to change your plan to say never you never want the display to go uh, to sleep and you never want to put your computer to sleep okay the display can go to but just not the computer so you could have a screensaver on, yes. All right, so that is all of the things that we need to do in Windows to get it ready. So we're done with that. We can close that tab. Which tab is that? We can close that network tab. This network tab, we can close that. We're getting down. That is our search tab. Get rid of that one. Okay, now, now we're gonna have to share the folder. So, I put a folder on my desktop just to make it easy to find, but it can be anywhere on your computer. I just wanted it easy to locate it. So my folder I'm going to be sharing is this one called Embroidery Stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is open your file explorer, which I've already done here. It's just by clicking on one of these little tabs here, opens up your file explorer. All right, navigate to the folder you wish to share, Embroidery Stuff. Okay, we're going to go to step three. We're going to right click on our folder. We're going to go to our properties. Let me bring this properties box over here so we can see it better. All right, so now we're going to go to the sharing tab. And we are going to go to advanced sharing. So in here, you want to make sure you turn on share this folder. If it's not on, turn that on. Apply that. Let's see, sharing tab. The next step is display name. I didn't change anything with the display name. I just kept it what it was. Okay, select everyone. Permissions. We got to go to permissions. That's where it is. Here it is. File folder. Click on permissions. Permissions. Okay. So select everyone. And we're going to allow all. Then we're going to okay. So if this is not on, make sure full control is on. Apply okay. We are going to the security tab. So we're apply and okay here. Get back to our basic. Start with the security tab. So in the security tab, we're gonna add everyone. I've already added it, but basically you're just gonna go into edit, add and type in everyone here. everyone it's going to check the name and okay so here is everyone select everyone and allow full control so if these are not on make sure all of these little blue boxes are turned on apply that setting so last thing that we have to do is take note of our path so i'm going to apply that okay so advanced it was there oh under sharing here it is yes our network path so this one is called you know forward slash forward slash drew escapes embroidery stuff yeah it's going this drew escapes is the name of my computer but this is going to be whatever the name of your computer is so just so you know that's where that is coming from that is this actual computer and this is the file we're looking for so we just need to take note of this for when we do the next step which is go to our machine and have the machine discover this file all right so let's go to that next 
All right, so we are ready to set up our network on the actual touchscreen. So I'm going to start by going to load a file. We're going to go to network and we're going to go down to the little plus symbol. The plus symbol we're going to put in our network location, which we know is slash slash. Forward slash. Wrong slashes. Those work. Slash. Okay. Sorry. Drew. E S C A P S. Slash. And then it was. Embroidery. E M B R O I D E R Y space. Stuff. All right, so now we got to give it a location to like pull into. So I'm going to call this shared. The share is fine and add. Okay, so it's giving me this error message that there's something wrong with my information. And I've had this happen before. So I know the fix for this. We actually have to continue with some more instructions back over in the computer. Okay, so what I found is that we need to do section C of the instructions, which is using the IP address. So we're gonna click on IP address section of this adding the network instructions. And we're going to left click on the Windows button or down in the search and we're gonna type IP config. I P C O N F I G. You are going to There's my command prompt now. Here. Nope. Okay, so I went too far. I went to IP config and I just need to do command prompt. So I got the command prompt C M D. Here we go. Now, here is where I want to do IP config. I P C O N F I G. And enter. This is going to give me the IP address, this IPv4 address. My particular one is 192.168.0.193. Oh, so I'm going to take this number and put this number in in place of Drew Escapes. I still want embroidery stuff there, but replacing Drew Escapes. Let's see if I can get it deleted. One, two. Got our slashes. One, nine, two. Six, eight, no, one, six, eight, point, zero, point, one, nine, three, stuff. I have my module folder. We are anonymous, so we don't have to use any passwords or anything, and add. Voila, and it works. It was successful. Don't know why it has to have the IP address, but it was successful putting the IP address in. Check mark. So now I can go to that shared folder, which is pulling it from the computer. It's loading all the items. It's seeing what's there. And I don't remember how many items is in that folder. Perfect. So yeah, I have all kinds of embroidery files that I can pick from. I have happy. And it was all wirelessly connected. So it did take a minute. Um, and it just depends on your computer settings as to whether or not you have to have like the name of the computer or the IP address. But I found that having the IP address, it goes through every time for whatever reason. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you're able to connect your machine wirelessly so that you can uh, send over files from anywhere. And um, 
Be sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more helpful tips and more videos on the summit. Hit the bell so you get all the notifications of my videos. And give it a big thumbs up. So, oh yes, so <laughs> um, if you don't have the Melco Summit or you're looking to upgrade to the Melco Summit, there is a link to a form below that will get you in touch with a sales rep so that you can either trade in yours and upgrade or get a brand new one if you don't have one yet. This machine is amazing. I haven't even had a chance to play with it fully yet. So um, there's going to be a link below to um, all of the documents that I've been pulling up and referencing on the computer. So check those out and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.